everyone, my name is Lee Mark Valeria and welcome to my channel. See you there! Hi everyone, it's me Lee Mark Valeria again and welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we have a Q&A with my camera invisible DJ. Okay, so let's uh, watch uh, what is the question that I, I never thought that he could ask for okay so please watch the whole video and you will be surprised what my answer are okay stay tuned okay first question what is the last lie you told the lie that i told yes it's actually it's uh recently I remember it is uh, that, that I said that I am okay, but the truth is I'm not. Next, name someone you pretended to like but actually couldn't stand. Mm. My. Uh, my crush mm. in high school. Mm. I I like him, but he doesn't know that he like that I like him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. What is your most bizarre nickname? Of course, my favorite because when I was in Paris, they called me uh, Pang Pang. So, yon, I think that is the one, but. You know, but in the entire world, uh, they called me as my first name is Lee. So, but I prefer being Tam Tam. It's okay. Next, what is uh, what is your most physically painful experience? Physically uh, painful experience. Uh, hmm. When my first time, I know. When my first time. Uh, <laughs> okay. 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 Better follow up question. Why not? Sure. I don't talk. I don't talk. I think I was 26 that time. Yeah, because I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> First question, but I let third, I third question, but I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'm not going to say Okay, next question. What is the craziest thing you've done on public transportation? Ah, that was recently actually. I, uh, uh, <clears throat> I experienced that uh, this week uh, when I was in Metco, when, when, we, when we're going to uh, Val de Europe. Uh, with the with the RATP people employees and you know they quote me that I didn't uh, pass in the machine to go inside the metro stations but they quote me in the inside the train and they pay uh, they asked me to pay 35 euro for not entering uh, not validation my ticket <laughs> it's a worse actually it's craziest because I want to fight but you know it's only 35 years. That's okay. If you met a genie, what would your three wishes be? I think for three wishes, I spare the two for my family and for uh, and, and one for me. First is one for me. I want to live my life long, or, uh, long, long years, and including with my family as well. And secondly, uh, I want to take a. Uh, I want. I want to have a lot of things that I want, in the entire life. Okay. Who was your worst case ever? Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> question. I don't know. Surprising. <laughs> my uh, worst case uh, ever. Actually, recently. Pangalanan who? Who? Ah, uh, you you know, just uh, I will 
I will send that video and this video. I was just, uh, you know, at least you were in Mandeli. I will send the video and okay. uh, down the uh, down this video. Okay. I will reveal who is that. And who is your um, best kiss ever? <clears throat> Superman. He know that I uh, actually I call him a Superman because he knows, he knows, really. Why? Uh, I think I'm in love again. Why? Because yeah. Because you know, when he kissed me, over my ears, back in my head, down to my knee. <laughs> I joke <laughs> lang. <laughs> yeah, really. You know, you know, guys. If you experience kiss or first kiss or best kiss ever, you know, you don't really expect what will you do or. Uh, especially when you had partner, so I think my best kiss is uh, Superman. So he knows that. If you're watching, you know you're the best one. Okay, what is the craziest thing you've done in front of a mirror? In front of the mirror? Oh my God! That was before. Uh, I'm doing ano. Uh, I'm doing shaving, shaving something. Sh shaving something in private so that's it because i don't really know how but that's why i use mirror i use mirror to do that <laughs> okay next. next what is something you love to do with your friends that you never do in front of your partner oh it's actually i don't want uh uh because i do a lot of things in uh in front of my friends but to do in front of my partner, I think nahihiya kasi ako tumikutot. You know, tumikutot, it's so embarrassing actually when your partner is beside you or in front of you. I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> diba? Ang social ko naman. Ang social ko naman dito. Parang ang TV lang to. Okay, next question. Okay. Have you ever fake sick to get out of a party? Uh, no, I don't really experience that way, but because, you know, every time I go to the party or every time I go to the, to the occasions or to the, or someone or want to drink somewhere, but I want to really show, I want, I want to make it sure that I feel okay, even though I drink a lot, but I want to make sure that I can go back in my bed mm. at perfectly okay. Mm. Okay, next, meet love say. He do anything for love, but he won't do that. What is your that? Uh, I think Midlop and I were the same, because I can do uh, I can do uh, I can do a lot of things in terms of love. I think I think for all my viewers also you can do things also out of love, right? I think most of the people they can do that, but I don't know. But I think that my answer is for. It's for general. It's I think it's a lot. Uh, it's favorable for a lot of people. Yeah. Would you date your high school crush today? Why not? Yes, na yes. <laughs> yes, na yes. Sino? Ah, uh, okay. So, can I mention the name? Why not? It's okay. Uh, Alan Solis. Actually, uh, he, I think when I was remember when I had when I ha when I'm high school, way back to high school is uh, he lives in Napo or along Kenson Off. Because I went to the I went to their house once with with my classmates of course not just only me. I was I was uh, I was twelve years old that time I think, and that was my first to drink but just a little something, so. I like him to be, but now, yeah, I like him. Okay. Do you believe in any superstitious? If he, so, which one? Uh, I think I believe that kind of superstitious is just like a deja vu. Deja, uh, deja vu? Deja vu. I don't know what's the correct one, but you know, deja vu is just like when you see something or when you do something in the past or in the future, and then you remember one day that ah, you experienced these things happened already to me, and ah, 
I think it's happened already to me for the past month. Or you should think that, ah, oh, I think this day, it happened already to me before. So you have a lot of thinking like that. So that is my superstitious uh, belief that, you know, Mm. I think we can we have a lot uh we have a lot of superstitions. The other things is diba kasi lahat ng Pilipino or most of the people this sinasabi nila yung mga scariest things in their lives or mga yung mga panaginip their dreams yung mga nightmares but for me that one. Mm. Next. <laughs> so next. Should... When is the last time you apologize and what for? Uh, the last time I apologize actually It's a, actually guys, it's a serious thing because my last time that I apologize is, is with my parents. Yeah, I remember that. Because, I don't know if you really know, I, I don't know for the people who knows me, who knows me very well. I think that, you know, I, I don't live uh, too much time with my parents, especially with my mom and my dad. So, When I separated from the from the place where I belong, and I go to another place just to study and you know to have something uh, to have something or be a good a bad life. Uh, that time I realized then I I feel that uh, you know I feel that I'm all alone. Then after that, when I finish everything in my life, I said I feel that I am uh, I have an angriness with my parents that really I don't really accept. And I realized that one only lately. Then I said to myself, I'm just thinking that, oh, I think I, I want to, it's too late to apologize that time because they are gone. But, so <laughs> that is the, that's the worst thing also that happened for me. Okay. Do you believe in Santa Claus? I think that question is really it's it's really inevitable uh, for this uh, for this year. No, I mean, do you believe? Yes, I believe in Santa Claus. Next follow up question: When do you stop believing Santa Claus? Ah, uh, when? I think. I think this year. Why? Really, I, I just. It, this is uh, really a serious question, but I think this year in this month already because. It ha it's something happened here in the house that I don't really expected. You know, when my when my tata and my tata God is not here and it happened last last week. So, you know, when you're excited to have a Christmas with your family and you put Christmas uh first time Christmas decor in your house. Just you know, just to feel you know this Even though it's this kind of situation that you feel there's a Christmas or there's a spirit Christmas in this house or in individually with with our families here, but then it happened everything. So I think I said, ah, oh, I don't like to put the Christmas tree again. I want to trash the Christmas. I want to trash trash the Christmas tree outside the house. I want to throw it. I, wanna, I don't want it anymore. So. Really, and I said, and that time, that time I started to feel that, oh, is it Christmas is coming, or oh, it's Christmas this week, because Christmas is coming weekend. I think I don't know. I don't really know what now. Okay. Next, what is one responsibility you wish you didn't have? Ah uh, yes, of course, to my parents, because ah. Uh, Being the the youngest, being one of the youngest in our family, that is the responsibility that I never do to my parents, uh, just to take care of them. Because my parents, my parents, they they are not grow to, uh, they are not grow old too much. That's why. So I think I don't know. But I remember always that there's always a reason why it happened in our lives. What is the scariest thing you've ever done? The scariest thing that I've ever done? Mm. The scariest things I've ever done is, you know... Actually, this is my past... 
uh, way back to my life in Philippines. With my parents, even I tried to be, you know, to to not not to take care of everything. That time I uh, I wanna I wanna drunk every day. I want to go anywhere. I don't have any plan for my future. I don't want to work. Sinasabi nga sa Tagalog na parang bahala na. Importante makalimot ka at that time. So, have you ever gotten blackout drunk? Blackout drunk? Uh, I guess no. No, I never. But yeah, I never. I never experienced that way. Sorry, but I never uh, experienced that way even though I, I drink sometimes but not just too much. Yun nga yung kagaya na sinabi ko kanina. I, I, really just, I really make sure to myself that I always be in my bed whatever mm. happened. Okay. What is the pettiest thing you've ever done? Pettiest thing that I've ever done? Oh, actually, with my parents too. Kasi, yun nga yung, I didn't accept that one day when you wake up that you have not everything especially when your parents are gone hmm, okay. it's really hurt actually okay next what is something you've done that you still feel guilty about Yun din, because I have no, I told you guys that I have no more experience about my parents, my childhood, a childhood uh, with my parents. Kasi parang, na, sum, na, parang ako yung sum, humiwalay sa bahay namin, or sila ba ang lumayo, or nilayo ba nila ako. That's so many questions of me that time, so, but I have no choice. Narealize ko na lang yun when I was a teenager. Sabi ko bakit ang unfair minsan. We have a lot. Uh, I have a lot of brothers and sister, but why they are? They are they. They are close to my parents. They are been together for so many years. But me, why? Why I'm the only one in the family that I lost the time for my parents. I have only few minutes or times to bond with them. Uh, diba? So. I don't know, but it's really feel, I, I, f I really feel guilt about that, really. Okay. Oh. What is the weirdest thing you've ever said to a stranger? To a stranger? Come on. Come on. More. Do I look beautiful? That's it. <laughs> and I. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that's it. But because you know. Uh, what is the weirdest place you've ever given or gotten someone's number? Which one? Place? Place. Weirdest place you've ever given or gotten someone's number? Mm, I don't. Uh, I think in school. Way back to college. Yes, kasi para sa college kasi doon ko na try na ah, no. Yeah. In a school but in a gym. Uh, in a gymnasium. Parang basketball court. Doon. Kasi hindi na ano, ano ko eh. Hindi na asar ako ng classmate ko si Richmond. Hello Richmond from Tondo, Manila. Hi. I don't know if you know me more. If you know me right now but actually I just want to search you on Facebook but I don't know where, which your name is. But you are the best one. You are the best friend ever that I had before. Yun, yung din, ano ba yun? Deal or no deal ba na? Okay, Lee, let's try. Let's try if you are beautiful. Mm. Kuhanin mo nga yung number ng isang player doon. <laughs> yeah, kundi naman ako nung time na yan. I'm so shy. Because I know that I'm not beautiful. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Have you ever said, I love you? I love you and not really meant it. And to whom? Uh, yeah. Actually, it's normal, I think. Huh? But I said that one to my, to all my ex. <laughs> to all my ex. 
So I'm like, yes, yes. Actually, it's normal, right? Because when you separate or when you finish with a business or something, even do the business, when you finish with the business, so sabi mo ah, the bis if you are in the if you are in the business right now, sabi mo ah, my business is good, my company is well. But after that, when you leave the company, ah, actually that's not good. Actually, there are something to like me. Same with the relationship. Like that. When you are in the relationship, everything is perfect. There is no problem. Everything, both of you are, mm, you're handsome, you're beautiful. But after that, everything is just like, just only one wish that, ah, oh my God, that's just finished. Then after that, so on and so on. Ah, actually, I don't like her. I don't, actually, I don't like him. Actually, he's not a good one. Actually, he's not a good one. When is the last time you shared a toothbrush with someone else? <laughs> Actually, only uh, recently, recently in this house, recently in the house, recently in this house, because I don't really expect anyone to visit me or I don't really expect anyone to just to come in the house. So one day we have, I have one visitor to, to come with me in the house and, you know, and I have no choice. I have actually in my person I have three toothbrush but I use that every day three in the different in the tongue in the teeth inside the gums like that so I have no choice I give him my used toothbrush <laughs> is there anything about your life you would change why not if I if I if if they're giving me a chance to change my life or in in other way, I think I want my parents back. I want my parents back. Okay. If you could date anyone in the world, who would you date? Uh, actually, uh, I'm just thinking about that. If even if even your question is not yet finished. Uh, huh. Of course, my one and only crush in my entire life. I have many. I have many. You know. You know. You know. People are Filipino. They have some people that they have many, many crushes. You know. But for me, I have also many crushes. But I have only one in my entire life. Then I saw him personally here in Paris. I uh, see Tom Cruise. Really, I think he is the best one for me. Mm -hmm. Even though he's forty-two. Oh, 52. Oh, 52. He is only 52. But, oh, really, if you see it personally, from course. Pa! <laughs> okay. If you had to choose between dating someone ugly, who has good in bed, or dating someone hot, who has bad in bed, which would you choose? Oh, my God. Uh, I choose the... Which one again? The the the, the ugly, ugly which ugly is yeah, good in bed. Good in bed. And one the is good someone one is bad is, in bed. Yeah, hot but bad in bed. Oh, of course. I want to have uh someone bad in bed but handsome or beautiful. Okay. Okay, if you had to choose between being poor and smart or being rich and dumb, what of course hello choose? hello hello everybody I'm I'm back again I'm back again no be honest be just one thing be honest in ourselves you know especially in this kind of situation now I think I wanna be rich being dumb I don't care I don't care people say to me because you know even though you are good you are smart. They have many people that they are telling you that you are bad or something like this, blah, 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 blah. So, why you didn't choose the reality? You are rich and being dumb. Why not? Practically wise. Use your brain. Okay. If you haven't had your first kiss, who do you want to have your first kiss with? First kiss is with uh, 
Ah, uh, it's preparing uh, for the gender or what? Oh, gender. Gender. So, I think with uh, with my ex. First kiss. Ah, first kiss. Ah, when I ah uh, when I was in high school, I think that was second year. When I was second year high school with my classmate, because he kissed me accidentally. Oh my god. So I punched him with that. No, 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 no. Ah, no, no, no. That's, I think it's. The, if you haven't had your first kiss yet. Ah, okay. And who will be that? Who, who, uh, who do you want to have your first kiss with? Ah, okay. Of course. Uh, why not? I think. Uh, siguro local artist. Oh. Kasi nang napanood ko lang siya last time. Siguro when I was in age, when I was his age, I think I wanna kiss him or even maybe love him. Ayan din na siya. Mega love shot out. <laughs> Wala lang. Parang kasi I always think that I always look uh, the people that smells good. I like that. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy my video. Bye everyone!